Federal crews are still working to remove the Golden Ray ship from St. Simons Island Sound. The Coast Guard saying it is refining its salvage plan. It could take a couple of months to remove the ship, which is already hurting charter boat captains who rely on the waters to make a living. Tonight on your side's Troy Cliss has that story from St. Simons Island. Troy. Kevin Desern is the captain of Georgia Saltwater Adventures. His boat can go on deep sea fishing expeditions 60 miles out to sea, but he says those journeys are getting cut because of the ship still on its side. I mean, we've lost a lot of fishing trips and sightseeing tours over the Golden Ray being where it is. I mean, it could not be in a worse spot just for environmental impact and for aesthetics. Desern says this time of year is when he and more than 20 other captains in the area make their keep for the winter. In the meantime, he's been helping with the Altamaha Riverkeepers efforts to monitor environmental impacts. The Coast Guard says varying degrees of oil and sheen are found in marshes along the back McKay and Frederica rivers. Crews can be seen working to remove leftover pollutants from the ship. As the salvage operation continues, Desern is glad to see the Riverkeeper doing its part. He hopes those efforts will limit long-term impacts from the Golden Ray. The Ottawa Riverkeeper and University of Georgia, they're doing testing. They have really the coast's best interest at heart. In St. Simons Island, Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.